Hi there, my name is Amanda Yeager and today I'm going to be talking to you about the use of preference assessments in applied settings. I work at Step by Step Academy, which is located in Columbus, Ohio. It is a mental health facility serving children and adolescents with autism spectrum disorders. I am a board certified behavior analyst and I serve as the program manager in the Adolescent Center. So a little bit about what I do is um, I write behavior plans, I write treatment plans, and then I, I monitor the ongoing implementation of those plans. So in my setting, there is a strong need for the use of effective reinforcers as we're always teaching new skills and trying to decrease unwanted behavior. So therefore, there's a strong need for preference assessment. So that's why I'm very excited to talk to you about those. After today's presentation, you should be able to identify stimuli for use in your preference assessments. Implement a multiple stimulus without replacement preference assessment, which throughout this presentation I'll be referring to as the MSWO. And also train direct care staff to conduct preference assessments if that's the role that you serve in the place that you work. So I would like to take a minute, and if you have a pen and paper, try to think of all the choices that you made today. So I'll go ahead and get you started. And um, the first choice that I made today was whether or not I wanted to hit snooze or wake up right away. So. So as you can see, there's lots of choices that you make in just one day. And while these choices may be very small and very parsimonious, we still make a lot of choices. Now try to imagine if someone made all of those choices for you and what that might be like. Um, it might produce anxiety. It might feel like you don't have a lot of control over your day-to-day -day routine. And unfortunately for individuals with disabilities, this is sometimes the case. They're not always provided the opportunity to make choices even over small things that they're capable of choosing. And if you've had an opportunity to read my blog on the special learning website, I blogged about habilitation and happiness and um, how the two go hand in hand. So you can still promote happiness and pair that with skill building, and they should and can be paired together. And one way to promote happiness is through choice interventions. Choice interven interventions are considered to be an evidence-based practice for individuals with disabilities. And understanding the potential power of choice is very beneficial for both caregivers and parents alike. Um, there was a study done by Tiger and colleagues in 2006 that included five participants, both with and without disabilities. They used choice as an independent variable. And in this study, they had a high degree of control over choice as an independent variable. And they found that for all of the five participants, they all prefer the opportunity to make a choice, which of course I'm sure you would have too. And for two of those participants, choice alone served as a reinforcer. So something so simple and parsimonious can be effective at managing behaviors. And um, choice has been shown to effectively manage um, unwanted behaviors and to increase behaviors that you're trying to teach in, in the classroom. Some other examples of how choice interventions have managed behavior include poor sleeping habits, public, public disrobing, and intentional urination. So I think you would agree that these behaviors are very socially significant, and something so small um, was, was used to decrease these behaviors and manage them. So what are preference assessments, and um, how can we use them? Preference assessments is a formal method of identifying potential reinforcers. and. Um, this is very important if you're working in an applied setting. I'm sure you understand the vital need for reinforcement. Um, if you're trying to eliminate, acquire, or maintain operant behaviors, you're going to need re reinforcement. And preference assessments can also help you to provide a, hier a hierarchy of preferred items. So you can categorize items as high preferred, moderately preferred, or low preferred.